Hello everybody, Mr. Atrophy here. I haven't done a fish tank video in a while. So here it is. I've got new fish. Um, those are neon dwarf rainbows. That male right there in the center, red fin, is one of the two males. And then those two. I've got four of the females. So I've got six in total, two male, four female. Um, one male and one female are more mature and larger, and those two are actually doing mating behaviors. They're doing a mating dance every once in a while, uh, which I'm going to try to catch on video, but it's hard. Um, can't remember I mentioned it, Big Pleco died. And he's got two replacements, little guy right there, little um, baby bristle nose, not even old enough to have bristles yet, so I can't sex it for at least another six months. Um, there is the clown Pleco, who is making a rare appearance right there. Um, I almost never see the clown Pleco out, um, and he is absolutely beautiful. He can change color drastically. He's really light right there trying to blend into the gravel. Um, he can get that color. Um, yeah, I've seen him a little bit lighter than that. But I've also seen him as dark as the wood. Um, blending into the wood. So he's uh, kind of a chameleon. So that is one, the clown pleco. That is the baby bristle nose. There's a female uh, neon dwarf right there. And let's uh, zoom back a little bit. I'm hoping you guys can see the neon blue on these guys. They're shimmer. They've got a very beautiful blue iridescent shine to them. And they are personable. You put your finger on a glass when you walk up, when you wake up in the morning, they all come forward and they all say hi. You can see when you get their attention, they do um, come up and are interested in you. It's kind of cool. Tank is doing very well. I've stopped using salt in my tank, which has made my diatomaceous algae problem get much better. I haven't had to scrub the Buddha in over a month. He isn't really getting covered at all anymore. Um, neither is the tank as a whole. So using the one tablespoon for, for five gallons um, was causing a couple problems. It stressed out the Pelicos, it stressed out the Coreys, which I found out they were um, pretty salt intolerant. Which I feel badly because it's a mistake I made. I didn't research that enough.